with Jesus. Good morning, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Yes, I'm not in my original place. I'm in the woods, as you can see. Um, so if you see something, let me know. Okay? So something, let me know. I guess, I guess it'd be too late because by the time you see this, it'd be too late. But anyways, they told me there's bears out here. I'm not trying to look for bears. I'm actually up north because we're helping some family uh, move. And so, but uh, the gospel still has to be preached. So we're going to preach the gospel. And um, God's going to look over me. So don't worry. If a bear comes, I will bear slap him. All right. Uh, just like uh, uh, David, uh, uh, he, he messed up a bear and a lion. So, hey, with God, all things are possible. So I'm in good hands. Amen. So we're going to go to Matthew chapter 18. Matthew chapter 18, verse 21. All right. And we're talking about, we are at the parable of the unforgiving servant. The parable of the unforgiving servant. Amen. Matthew chapter 18, verse 21 through 35. All right. We're going to talk about forgiveness. All right. But before we do, let us pray. Dear God, we just want to thank you for everything that you're doing. We thank you for this beautiful day, Lord God. We thank you for the, the word that's about to come forth. We thank you for the wind, Lord God. We thank you for everything that you're doing. And, and Lord, open up our hearts, our minds, our bodies, and our souls, Lord God, to be able to receive your message, your salvation, your word, your encouragement, Lord God, and your blessings. In your precious name, amen. Someone's going to get blessed today, all right? And so we're going to go right into it. And I am preaching from the New King James Version. And the reason is there's a little difference between the NIV. If you're, if you're reading off the NIV, it's, a, it's fine. Uh, but I'm re reading off the New King James Version. All right? And it says this. Verse 21. Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times? So Peter comes up to Jesus and Jesus says, uh, no, Peter comes up to Jesus and he's asking, Lord, how many times should I forgive? Up to seven times? That's a lot, right? Peter's like all happy about himself. He's like, eh, I can forgive seven times. I'm a good guy. I can forgive seven times. But watch what Jesus says. Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a certain king who wanted to settle accounts with the servants. Okay? The NIV says uh, 7 times 7. But the actual translation is 70 times 7. Okay? 70 times 7 equals 490 times. All right? That's a lot of times to forgive people. Some people say, uh, uh, they're scholars and everything, they say um, it's 490 years. It, it is 490 times within a day that you must forgive that same person, right? Uh, um, and, and, and some people say in a lifetime. Listen, the fact of the matter is that that is a lot of times. Now, the cool thing that in, uh, and this is, this is like a hidden gem, okay? Jesus always threw down some hidden gems, all right? And so, and so watch this. The cool thing is that in Daniel 9.20, this same number comes up 490 times, 70 times 7 comes up in the book of Daniel in chapter 9, verse 20. And this is when Daniel was asking for forgiveness for the whole land that they sinned against God and everything. And he's asking for forgiveness. And, and, and Gabriel comes up to him and he tells him this. And so... This same number comes up in that time. So it, it's, it's crazy. And I'm only telling you this because it's a little gem that you might pass. But you can go back and study it. And so what, what that meant was that, so in Daniel 9.20, this same number, 70 times 7, 490 years, appears as a prophecy of Jesus to come and forgive the sins of the world. That's amazing. Okay, so that's just a little gem. So I don't know. I, I know that Jesus meant that, all right? And, and, I, and, and I'm probably like, I wonder who's going to get this, right? This is a little gem. But anyways, 
let's go back to uh, uh, Matthew 18, verse 22. Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a certain king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. And when he had begun to settle accounts, one was brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents. But as he was not able to pay, his master commanded that he be sold with his wife and children and all that he had, and that payment be made. The servant therefore fell down before him, saying, Master, have patience with me. I will pay you all. The master of the servant was moved with compassion, released him, and forgave him of the debt. So this man owed him, uh, um, owed him, uh, what, what was it? Let's see, it says what? 10,000 talents. Okay? He owed the master or the king 10,000 talents. That is a lot of money. To this day, that would be equivalent of three to seven billion dollars. We're not talking millions. We're not talking about thousands. We're talking about billions. That is a lot of moolah. And I say three to seven because there's, there's a big discussion about how much that is. But it's in between there. Okay? Three to seven billion. And the king forgave his debt. He was merciful. He forgave him. Okay? So watch what he does. After he is forgiven. Watch this. But that servant went out and found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. And he laid hands on him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me what you owe. So his fellow servants fell down, his fellow servant fell down at his feet and begged him, saying, Have patience with me, I will pay you all. And he would not, but went and threw him in prison till he should pay the debt. So when his fellow servants saw that what had been done, they were very grieved and came and told their master all that he had done. Then his master, after he had called them, said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave all the debt because you begged me. Right? Should you not also have had compassion on your fellow servant, just as I had pity on you? And his master was angry and delivered him to the torturers until he should pay all that was due to him. So, this same servant, he had been forgiven of all that, right? He goes out and he sees another friend, another servant, and, and that owes him how much? Let's see. What did it say? A hundred denarii. This other man owed him a hundred denarii. That is thirteen to twenty thousand dollars. So his debt was thirteen to 17 billion dollars or three to i mean his debt was three to seven billion dollars and this guy oh and, and and it was forgiven by the king by the master he forgave him he's like please sorry forgive me right and it was forgiven and then he goes out sees somebody that owes him money owes him 13 to twenty thousand dollars and he starts choking him and beating him up and throws him in prison and doesn't have mercy on him isn't that just like our human nature right we always want forgiveness when it's our uh, something that we did we want forgiveness and mercy and please you know hey i messed up but when it's somebody else that does it to you you're like oh no i'm not gonna forgive them no they're messed up they shouldn't have done that they did right so the bible says that the king got mad he got mad so check this out and this is the last verse and I want you to understand this because this is the warning. This is the warning. All right. Verse 35. Jesus says this. Okay. So my heavenly father also will do to you. Each of you from his heart does not forgive his brothers his trespasses. Let me read that again because I butchered it. So my heavenly father also will do to you if. If each of you from his heart does not forgive his brother his trespasses. So he's saying, you want forgiveness, you must be able to forgive others. If you don't forgive, God cannot forgive you. That is hard. That is very hard. That's not me saying it. That's Jesus saying it. So see, 
So the big picture is that Jesus, God forgave us of our trespasses. He forgave us of our debts through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We are forgiven. We were indebted by sin. Sin had us debt in debt. And Jesus paid our fine. God forgave us, right? So in that same sense, we got to forgive people that do us wrong as much as God forgives us, right? God forgives us so much all the time. We mess up and we mess up and we mess up. God forgive us. Yeah, no problem. You're forgiven. That's how good God is. And so we must give that same forgiveness to others. And I know it's a lot harder said than done, right? So check this out. See, but forgiveness is for your own good. A lot of times we think forgiveness is, is for that person, but forgiveness is for your own good, for your own heart, for your own health, for your own good, so that you may be able to move on. Now, imagine this. Imagine that you're climbing up a hill, and up that hill, you're holding on to all this baggage, all this luggage, your old baggage, your unforgiven baggage, right? You're holding on to these past things, the, the, the things that you cannot let go of. How heavy is that for you to get to the top of the hill? That's how we are. See, God has something for us on the top of the hill. And we're traveling through our, our days in this world. And, and we're traveling with that baggage and baggage and baggage. See, we're holding on to that dead weight. You have the, the weight of the world upon your shoulders because you haven't learned to forgive others. You're still holding on to what somebody did to you at 8 years old, at 20 years old, at 25, at 16 years old, and you're holding on to all that baggage, the whole weight of the world. And as the, listen, if you learn how to forgive, the sooner you learn to let go of all that baggage, all that dead weight, the sooner you will get to your destination, the sooner you will get to that mountaintop, the sooner that you will get to your blessings. You have to let those things go. You were not made to carry all that weight upon your shoulders. You weren't. That's God's job. That's Jesus' job. He took up all that weight. You have to forgive. Now you're saying, oh, Pastor Dave, you don't know what they did to me. They mistreated me. They did this. They did that. You know, maybe you were abused in a relationship. I'm not telling you to forget. I'm telling you to forgive. You don't have to forget. You don't have to. But when you forgive, that doesn't mean you're going to forget everything and trust that same person all over again. No. You don't have to put your trust in the people. You put your trust on God. Right? You put your trust on the Lord. So, but you have to let go. And it is for your own good because you're not made to carry all that weight. Day after day after day. Trying to get to your destination. Some of you guys look tore up, beat up. You look 100 years old when you're only 40 years old because of all that unforgiveness. You're carrying it around and it's weighing you down. There's some people right now that have some health issues because of unforgiving, unforgiveness. Listen, you're holding all that anger, all that grudges, all that. You're just like, ah, they did me dirty. They did me wrong. And it's causing you some health problems. Let it go. It is not worth it. Forgiveness is for your own good. You have to understand that. Like I said, you don't, when somebody does you wrong, you don't have to trust them over and over for them to do the same thing over to you. No. You, you just forgive them and you let go. Say, God, they're your problem. I'm forgiven. I'm forgiving them, just like you told me, but I'm walking away. I don't have to deal with that. See, when you get abused or, 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 or mistreated like that over and over, you don't have to deal with that. You just have to forgive and let go. Let God handle it. Put your trust in Jesus Christ. Not in people, but in Jesus. God tells us to give Him our burdens, right? To give, to, to give Him all our anger issues, all our things, just give it to Him. That's what forgiveness 
is doing is you're letting go of things, putting your trust in Jesus Christ. So some of you guys are, oh, I'm this way because this person did me wrong. I'm this way. My family hurt me. My, uh, my sister, my brother, my, my, my loved one. Uh, I was in a relationship and they hurt me. I, you know, I put my trust in this person and they did me wrong. But see, you're a new creation. Let those things go. Let God turn you into a new creation. Let it go. Give it to God. Forgive them. All right. And sometimes you don't even have to talk to that person to forgive them. You can forgive them within your heart and just say, God, I just give them to you. You know, I had people try to kill me before. I hold no grudges. You know, I say, God, you take care of them. You know, I'm not going to hold that against them. I'm not going to be a, that, that, that person holding on to, oh, they did this, they did. See? That tenses up your body. It causes health issues. There's scientific research that tells you that. So let those things go. Forgiveness is for your own good. The sooner you learn how to forgive others, the sooner you will get to that mountaintop of blessings for your life. It's for your own good. Let all that dead weight go. Drop it. Give it to Jesus. Let all that thing that's been carrying on your shoulders, let it go. Right? We all need forgiveness. We all need forgiveness. We have all done wrong things. God is faithful in forgiving us and finding us a way out. That's Jesus Christ. Amen? Listen, my prayer today is that you are blessed. Amen? That you learn to let go of these things so that you can get to your destination. See, there's some relationships right now that I've taken those bad relationships and brought them into the new relationships. No, let that thing go. Let it go. It's gonna hurt your new relationship. God's do, trying to do a new thing within you. There's somebody right now that's saying, well, I haven't found my right one. You haven't found your right one because you're still holding on to the wrong one. You're still holding on to the bad things that, that, that happened to you. Oh, well, all men are this, all women are this. No, that's not true. That's not true. You're not the same. God is changing you. God is making you new. The Bible says that we are a new creation through Christ. Amen. So let him do a new thing. Let him give you a new heart. Let him give you new, a new mind. Amen. A new body. Let him do those things. Forgive that person. Let him go. Let him go in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is for your own good. I pray that this has blessed you. And, 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 and listen, there's somebody that's going to get healed when you start letting go. That's a word from God. That's not me. That's a word from God to you. There's somebody that needs to hear it because there's all kinds of health problems causing this. Let it go. Let God work within your life, all right? So, let it go and let God take you to the top of your mountain. Let it go. God has something better for you. The amazing thing happens. When you let go of something, you let go of something, now you can receive something. Woo! Listen, when you forgive, and let go of the past, watch what God blesses you with because now you're able to receive. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. All right. And uh, uh, I'm going to pray. All right. Dear God, we just pray for every, everybody that's watching right now, Lord God. Begin to work within our hearts, Lord God. And, and, and begin to work with them for, with forgiveness, Lord God. We want to forgive like you forgive us, Lord God. We thank you for forgiving us for our sins, Lord God. We are not worthy, Lord God. So cleanse us, forgive us, Lord God. Begin to do a new work, a new mind, a new heart, a new change within our lives, Lord God. And Lord, right now, touch the people that, that, that are battling uh, with COVID and, and, and those that are in the hospital right now, Lord God. God, bless the nurses and the doctors working those things out, Lord God. 
give them wisdom, Lord God. And Lord, just begin, begin to heal people in the name of Jesus. We put the blood of Jesus upon you right now. If you're in a hospital bed right now, if you are in your bed and you're sick and you're, and you're tired and, and the blood of Jesus upon you. Lord God, send your mighty angels to protect our families, our kids, our loved ones, Lord God. And Lord, just work the, for, the work that we may forgive others, Lord God. We thank you. We praise you. In your precious name, amen. Amen. Listen, if you have been blessed, go to our website, davidgomezministries.com. Check out all the stuff that we got in there. We got a ton of stuff for you guys to check out. Uh, uh, drop us a prayer request, something. Uh, if you need it, uh, send us a message here or a comment, like our pages, like our YouTube page. All right, comment on it. Uh, share the word. Somebody needs to get blessed. Somebody needs to forgive. Somebody needs to get released of all that dead weight of, on them. Amen. God bless you until next time at 1030 next Sunday. God bless you. Have a great and beautiful day. God bless. Thank you.